Here's what's happening on Juno's Connect. We're on location in rainy San Francisco at the RSA conference, where information security is a hot topic. We'll be catching up with John Oltzik, a security management expert, to talk to us about the Network Balancing Act. Hey everyone, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Juno's Connect your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Here's what's going on around Juniper. Juniper is everywhere. There are events worldwide. Juniper's in Barcelona for the Mobile World Congress. And in June, we'll be in Paris for the World IPv6 Day. For those of you who missed out on the RSA conference, let me give you a sneak peek. I'm here at the largest security conference in the world. Let's go find the Juniper booth. What is the RSA conference? Tell us about it. Well, the RSA conference is arguably the world's biggest security show. It's about all things security in terms of protecting computer networks. Tell us a little bit about Juniper's presence here at 2011 RSA. Well, Juniper is a leader in networking, routing, and security. So naturally, we're a mainstay here showcasing our, our range of offerings. Have you seen a lot of traffic at this booth? Quite a bit of traffic. Tell us about the kinds of people who are stopping by and, and visiting with you guys. We're seeing the gamut. We're seeing um, practitioners of security, basically the kinds of folks that are responsible for managing security day to day. We're seeing directors and VPs that run information security departments. And of course, there are other vendors, um, people from our investment community, so quite the gamut. What are they asking? What do they want to know from you? Here at RSA, we announced um, the availability of the VGW series. Mm -hmm. It's a, a new product that's based on recently acquired technology. Lots of questions around that and around some of our upcoming announcements. Would you say that you're mainly interacting with existing customers or do you think you're attracting new business too? Oh, it, it's really the gamut you know, from competitors who come in wanting to know what's up to prospective customers that are starting up new businesses and are really anxious to establish some sort of strategic alliance. Uh, we've got vendors who come by who want to talk to us about what neat stuff they've got and how it can help our business. And then we have uh, existing customers that come by just to say hi. So would you say it's been worthwhile to come this year? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, we had a really great attendance and you know, all of my colleagues here have been saying the same thing, that it's been very beneficial. They've had some good conversations with prospects and uh, there's been a couple that uh, they feel like they've actually converted into sales, yeah. With the onslaught of new cloud-based tools and technologies, managing and securing your network can be a nightmare. Do they have the right roles to use them? Right. Then once you understand that... Coming up next, the tools you need to turn that nightmare into a dream. If you're looking for information about Junos, go to Junos Central. There, we'll tell you about the latest webcasts. Plus, we'll have an archive of the ones we've already done. You're also going to find day one booklets. We have the books, information about the books, and the bios of all the authors. Just go to www.juniper.net slash Junos. You can even find all the Junos Connect videos. I'm just saying. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. Organizations need a smart approach to maximize productivity, optimize network resources, and minimize risk. Earlier today, I had the chance to sit down with security analyst John Olsik to talk about security and managing your network. Thank you so much for joining us, John. Well, it's good to be here. Why don't you start by telling us how new technologies have really increased security risks? Well, there are new technologies like mobile phones, mm -hmm. uh, tablet PCs, and a lot of new applications that people are using. So things like Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. And these are applications that are hosted on the internet, and people are using them from a corporate environment. Sure. So sometimes they're secure, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're trusted, sometimes they're not. And sometimes you just don't want them because you want to keep your employees productive. So all of those things impact the way you do security and the number of risks or the amount of risk you have. So why don't people have the tools in place to manage these new risks? They typically have a lot of security tools, a lot yeah. of defenses, but 
this is a new, these are new threats. And um, so they need better tools to assess what users are doing, what applications they have. Mm -hmm. They need to understand the uh, idiosyncrasies of these new devices. And they really need an integrated approach. So it's not just one tool or another tool. It's a, it's a number of security defenses that need to be managed together with common policies, common command and control, and just a centralized way to look at this across the risk spectrum and across behavior. Absolutely, and also keep up with these threats too. Really yes. stay on top of it. Yeah, and they're changing all the time. I can imagine. Can you give us an example of some of these tools that you would recommend or that you endorse? Well, sure. The first thing I'd say you need to do is you need to assess what people are already doing mm -hmm. and, and understand and categorize those risks. So are people looking at Facebook? Are they using webmail? Um, if they are, how are they using those things? And then maybe understanding who's using them and really do they have the right roles to use them. Right. Then once you understand that, then you can make some policy decisions and, you, and get some tools involved to either block those applications or limit those applications or maybe give some people access, but other people you would restrict from using that for either security or even productivity reasons. So there's not one blanket solution then for everything and everyone. No, that's really important is it's not one system. And that's security people tend to think about one system versus another, but yeah. it's really a holistic approach across a number of defenses. Where can we find more information about this approach? I've just recently written a paper on this that's available on the Juniper website, and I'm doing a webinar on this. Uh, this is a really important topic, and I think that's a good place to start. Great. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, John. My pleasure. That's it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. I'll see you next time right here on Junos Connect.